Hey everybody, I'm just sitting out here in the trees in Virginia. And if you're not following me on other social media, you probably don't know yet. I've had a tragedy in my family. Uh, my brother passed away about a week and a half ago. So everything kind of stopped for a second, which is why we're still doing the book club, but it's been on pause. And today is the first day since his passing that I've had the energy to create content. So I came out here and I've been reading and doing this and finding a passage for you guys. And so I'm going to read you this passage because it's so good and it's something that I found to be true too. So you see how my feet have a little arch? It's not a super high arch, but it's also not flat-footed. I didn't even have an arch in my feet. I was always flat-footed until I was 27 years old and went barefooting for a while. And also ate a bunch of raw food, started taking ormistic kundalini yoga every day for a few months. And one of the things that happened was my arches grew. And this passage in the book talks about that. And so I want to read it to you. It's on page 177 of Born to Run, the book that we're currently doing in the Monthly Magic Book Club. Here we go. He's quoting um, a doctor who studies running. Putting your feet in shoes is similar to putting them in a plaster cast, Hartman said. If I put your leg in plaster, we'll find 40 to 60% atrophy of the musculature within six weeks. Something similar happens to your feet when they're encased in shoes. When shoes are doing the work, tendons stiffen and muscles shrivel. Feet live for a fight and thrive under pressure. Let them laze around, as Alan Webb discovered, and they'll collapse. Work them out, and they'll arc up like a rainbow. I've worked with over a hundred of the best Kenyan runners, and one thing they have in common is marvelous elasticity in their feet, Hartman continued. That comes from never running in shoes until you're 17. To this day, Hartman believes that the best injury prevention advice he's ever heard comes from a coach who advocated running barefoot on dewy grass three times a week. Also, if you're someone who does the life force thing and pranic stuff and ormus stuff, that doesn't come as a surprise to you because there's stuff in the dewy grass that gives you life and healing as well. And also takes down inflammation, which earthing practices do in general. Back to the reading. He's not the only medical professional preaching the barefoot doctrine. According to Dr. Paul W. Brand, chief of rehab at the U.S. Public Health Service Hospital in Carville, Louisiana, and a professor of surgery at Louisiana State University Medical School, we could wipe out every common foot ailment within a generation by kicking off our shoes. As far back as 1976, Dr. Brand was pointing out that nearly every case in his waiting room, corns, bunions, hammer toes, flat feet, fallen arches, was nearly non-existent in countries where most people go barefoot. The barefoot walker receives a continuous stream of information about the ground and, Eve, and about his own relationship to it, Dr. Brand has said, while a shod foot sleeps inside an unchanging environment. So yeah, more proof that running without shoes is the way to do it or just being without shoes as much as possible. And this isn't something that you can go to overnight, of course, but I've definitely found in my life, because I've been doing this now for about 10 years, going largely barefoot or wearing extremely minimalist footwear and my feet are completely healthy and I don't twist my ankle and stuff like I did when I was growing up and wearing big blocky cushioned shoes. Okay, I've got mosquitoes buzzing around me. I gotta go. But if you want to join the monthly magic book club, it's free. You can go to karismalina.com. And this is also one of the things that's included on my Patreon. So if you want to support me on Patreon, I just started doing it recently and you can find me under Grace of Earth there. All right, got to get out of the mosquito weather. Sending you guys love from Virginia and peace. Be well. Bye.